forget the goal and succeed effortlessly. Hello my friends, please subscribe to my YouTube channel for daily content. Few years ago my friends, I used to tell myself why I don't go to the gym, I realized I am getting out of shape. So I tried my best. And I bought new shoes new shirts and started applying some diets and even watched some motivational videos. I always dreamt of that day of heading to the gym every day comes. I actually don't go I keep saying to myself let's postpone it to another day, I feel tired. But still I have that motive to go. So one day I was reading about how to set up goals. And I did do my goals for a whole month of training. And it did fail my expectations, which in the first place, I still didn't go except once or twice. Throughout the whole month and I felt tired again and not able to continue. After several days of researching, why I really don't have what it takes to go to the gym? I found the answer and it was really a life changer. From what I have read and applied that really worked like charm was not the long-term goals. Rather not the short-term ones. Don't misunderstand me wrongly. Goals are important but the focus on them alone, is not important at all. What I have discovered, that you are more important than the goals. And by you I mean your internal system and beliefs. That is the real fuel for your achievement, I would clarify that more, please stay tuned. To understand me better my friends if you are a coach your goal would be to win a championship. Your system is the way you recruit players, manage your assistant coaches, and conduct practice. If you're an entrepreneur, your goal might be to build a million dollar business. Your system is how you test product ideas, hire employees, and run marketing campaigns. First step is related to changing your outcome. So instead of saying ill loose weight as a goal, I changed it by saying I am an athlete, so now I am identifying myself and acknowledging myself that I am an athlete. Which means it would be an ongoing process of training. Not just a momentary thing even if I lost weight I want to still keep up with training. Imagine you have a messy room and you set a goal to clean it. If you summon the energy to tidy up, then you will have a clean room, for now. But if you maintain the same sloppy, pack rat habits that led to a messy room in the first place, soon you'll be looking at a new pile of clutter and hoping for another burst of motivation. You're left chasing the same outcome because you never changed the system behind it. You treat it as symptom without addressing the cause. Achieving a goal only changes your life for the moment. That's the counterintuitive thing about improvement. We think we need to change our results, but the results are not the problem. What we really need to change are the systems that cause those results. Goals create a conflict, either you achieve your goal and are successful or you fail and you are a disappointment. You mentally box yourself into a narrow version of happiness. This is misguided. It is unlikely that your actual path through life will match the exact journey you had in mind when you set out. It makes no sense to restrict your satisfaction to one scenario when there are many paths to success. So. Now let's jump to the system. I use that worked with me effortlessly and it would sure work with you in your current challenges. First step is related to changing your outcome. So instead of saying ill lose weight as a goal, I changed it by saying I am an athlete, so now I am identifying myself and acknowledging myself that I am an athlete. Which means it would be an ongoing process of training. Not just a momentary thing even if I lost weight I want to still keep up with training. Second step I wanted to implement new routines in my original schedule to assist me in my training. So. For example I saw my daily routine and started modifying everything in my schedule that was holding me back. For example I used to sleep late so I eliminated that and I changed my sleeping hours which in return helped me to be able to be supercharged second day and being able to go to the gym and decrease my feeling of being tired. I started to eliminate some processed food and substituted it with more healthy choices so step by step I was making myself ready daily to prepare myself for achievement. The third step. I wanted going to the gym to be always rewarding so I linked my dopamine which is the reward system with an action I want to do after the gym like having a nice meal or seeing a friend. If you need to know more about dopamine review my previous videos my friends and see how it is the spike of motivation that encourage you to take steps. So after implementing those new changes and having a new system to make me supercharged and changing every day even if slight changes but I found myself effortlessly doing my exercises and reaching my outcome without the pressure of putting a long-term goal. I was improving daily without having the pressure of putting a long-term goal the outcome was impacting me daily and I felt my life was improving. I felt more clarity and more energy throughout the day. Finally, 
a goal-oriented mindset can create a yo-yo effect. Many runners work hard for months, but as soon as they cross the finish line, they stop training. The race is no longer there to motivate them. When all of your hard work is focused on a particular goal, what is left to push you forward after you achieve it? This is why many people find themselves reverting to their old habits after accomplishing a goal so always implement those three easy steps to change yourself and improve daily without pressure. Thank you for watching, please don't forget to push the subscribe button.